Uh, you know, it's it's kind of amazing because in my last video, I was ranting about how certain people, now, yeah, I was ranting about certain people not telling me the truth and taking my kindness for weakness. And a lot of people are still doing it and they're doing it without a care in the world. People are being used every single day. Why are they being used? I'm still wondering this to this day. It just kind of bothers me so much that we live in a world where, or should I say we live in a country. Let me choose my words correctly, okay? We live in a world where people, certain people are willing to use you, manipulate you, lie to you, just to get what they want. And if they can't get what they want from you, they'll get what they want from somebody else. Only to come back to you when things don't go their way. Or when the person that they're chasing after doesn't want them anymore. Oh, oh my God, can I hit you up? Now, for the record, in my last video, that was a full on rant. I meant everything I said and I said everything I meant. So I'm not taking anything back. I still got love and respect for my ladies, but I've also learned that these ladies do not deserve any attention unless they show that they're worth the attention that they are looking for. Period. Now, those, now that's no disrespect, but I find myself wanting to keep as far away from the ladies as possible. Now. It's kind of weird that a man would say something like that because come on, what man does not love the ladies? What man does not want to get what he wants from a lady? As long as he's willing to guide that lady and treat her right. But these ladies are literally falling for and giving themselves up to guys that they say are abusive, controlling, manipulative, Sad part is, is that every single one of you knew this stuff before you got with the guy. Odds are you heard about the guy from someone and you still fell for the guy. But that's on you. It's also quite amazing how much people, specifically the ladies, are willing to use someone in order to get what they want let me ask let me ask one question why is it so hard to speak the truth if you have genuine people genuine guys who are willing to tell you the truth whether they want you or not why can't you do a kindness a service which is what women are supposed to do and tell the truth too I know because attention is everything some of y'all will say that's not true, but if it isn't, why do you cut one person off in order to be with somebody else? And then when you cut that person off, the person you cut off loses so much. Beyond that, our country is going absolutely nuts. We've got regular banks that are literally charging people money just to keep their money inside of an account that they choose to put their money in. Let me ask y'all one question. Men, women of all ages. You don't like, or I assume you don't like losing money. I assume you like being charged with no fees. But then why would you go to certain banks or hang on to certain banks that charge you fees and then complain about it? Why are we compl why are we complaining over the very things that we use? You take advantage of a bank, a commercial bank, a traditional bank, but you're going to complain about all the fees. It makes no sense. Then when I tell you about the few banks that I have made videos about, past videos about, you act like you don't want anything to do with it. 
Now, maybe I need to go into more detail with some of these banking apps. I understand that and I will, because I'm not done. I'm having too much fun opening up brand new accounts and taking advantage of all of the free perks and rewards that come with them. But you guys don't see yourself doing that. Why? Because it's not a traditional bank. You can't give somebody a call. You don't want to email because you're lazy. But every single bank app, Chime, One Finance, Sophie Bank, each one of these bank apps that I'm using, that I'm running promos for, that I'm earning money from, and by earning money, I mean earning credits to my account. Each one of these bank apps are absolutely free and the links are down below, but you don't want to take advantage of it. That's fine, it's just fine. But don't discourage anybody else from taking advantage of these opportunities. And as for the ladies, I gotta ask, you don't want the person that wants you, but at the same time, you will use that person and manipulate that person out of any and everything that they've got. Sorry, but for some of you ladies, it's hard to believe that you're even religious because a God-fearing woman, specifically, God-fearing woman, would not do something like that. She'd be honest in her intentions. She would speak from the heart. She wouldn't say yes to a proposal or to exclusive relationship, go along with the part, and then later on down the line, within the same day or two, tell that person in a text message or a Facebook message or what have you that you're seeing somebody else at the same time. That happens to a lot of people. It's happened to myself. It happens to the best of us. Women are literally becoming less emotional and I understand why I understand why you're becoming less emotional because you're giving yourself to guys that don't care so you choose not to care because you don't want to be hurt well as of right now you become an emotional succubus yeah a soul stealing demon some of you guys are okay with that because you think that certain men deserve it what about the men that don't deserve it what about the men that want to spit game to you, but it's only a game of financial, of financial literacy? Game that will help you come up, whether you have a job or not, whether you need hope or not. And we all know that most of you women need hope because you're broken by certain guys that you let in way too fast. But no, you don't want great opportunities. You don't want a guy that has his head on straight. You don't want a guy that's trying to come up in the world in a specific way, in a best way. You want a guy who's down to the lower levels. You want a guy who is all about his lower vibration. He's meaty on the outside, overly masculine and brutal. But that's what you're looking for because you're taught to be that way. You don't know anything else. If that's truly what you want, don't bother any other guy that has his head on straight and don't waste his time. Some of you women enjoy wasting a man's time. And for the record, I said some of you women. As for my brothers, from every single color, from all four trenches of the earth, to all of you listening to this video, since the moment I was able to understand English speech, I've heard nothing but negative views on men from women. I've heard nothing but negative views. But I have to say it didn't exactly hit me, or should I say the light bulb didn't exactly go off until I had my first heartbreak. And you don't know your heart is broken until the person is gone and they act like they don't care. But that's when I realized that it's the other way around. It's not the men that are the problem. I mean, how can the men be the problem? How many men are there on this planet compared to the women? Thank you, Alexander the Greek. And I did not say Alexander the Great, I said the Greek. From what I've seen on certain YouTube videos, from the stuff I've read about him, compared to the stuff that I've heard from my school, there was nothing great about the guy. He was a rampaging murderer. He eliminated too many people and mostly the men so that 
what's going on, there aren't enough men to go around for these ladies. Not many people are talking about this kind of thing. They should be. Not many women know about this kind of thing. Not that they would care because it doesn't affect their lives. Actually, it does. It's been affecting people's lives for years. Women don't care if a man comes on to them and has somebody else because, oh well, apparently she's not doing her job. Let me see if I can get it. And yet I've been told a million times that women mature faster than men. I don't believe that's true anymore. I don't believe that women mature faster than men. I believe they grow physically faster, therefore getting themselves ready biologically for men of easy picking. And I say easy picking because how many single moms are out there right now with no man, multiple kids, with the same guy, or with multiple guys? I know quite a few of them, just throwing that out there. I'm not gonna say any names because it's not really important. The fact of the matter is, a lot of people are not being treated right. There's certain guys I know who have multiple women, multiple kids, and all they do is complain about the, ki the, the women while trying to chastise their kids. And they're slaves to their environment. They're slaves to their jobs, and they're slaves to their women. And believe me, they are slaves to the women because they have to put up with the women even if they're not in love with them anymore because they still want to see their kids. And maybe they do love the women, but they can't, but they always seem to be in a negative mood. I'm going to end it right over here because there's still more to talk about until next video. You guys have a great time. Have a great, yeah, have a great time. Have a great day. Sleep well. Good morning. Good night. Good afternoon. Like I said, this is random. <laughs> I've had a long day. <laughs> All of the free opportunities are down below. Free money for all. When you guys choose to sign up under me, I get a little something brand new and so do you. I'm here to try and help you guys out expressing to these brand new apps as best as I can. You guys take it easy. Love, peace, namaste.